Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do oil barrels. Cousin Cletus says that, uh, hey, I'm Chris from Dyson. You ever trust somebody and they lose a large cargo and now, or wait, and now you might get fired? I'm not saying that somebody is my cousin Cletus, but I'm not saying it's not Cletus. Can you find the cargo? The answer is no. We give up. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the cargo. What is on this trailer at Ten Hut? You? Does this have anything on it? Yeah. Steel. Fudge it. Never mind. Okay, so. So, Fleet Star is engaged with Monster off-road tires and a really still slow steering response. Come on. Come on. Terrible at steering this truck. We're just going to have to go slow because this thing bounces all over the place. Oh, ouch. What? No, you're fine. You're absolutely f beautiful. I know. Okay, so we got both of our targets are on the map. I don't think we're turning here. We go on straight. The first one is fairly easy to get to. The second one, not so much. The second one is going to be off on that island where we rescued the truck, and that was a little bit dodgy. the first road through. No! And the Fleet Star is showing its true colors as it almost flips over just from hitting a small rock. That's the only problem with this truck and it's one of the reasons why I don't like it. Um, but it's what we got right now. If we had the GMC with the all-wheel drive unlocked, I would be using that instead. And actually, that truck might be fine even in these conditions because this isn't, they aren't terrible roads. Plus with the, you know, with the diff lock, that seems to be enough. Like, oh God, this is gonna go over. Oh, this truck. It also does not do well with the crane, but unfortunately that's, that's what we got going right now. So we gotta have the crane in order to pick up the parts. So there you have it. We deal. Oh, wow. I thought this was going to be easy. Okay. Um, boy, that is really down there. I don't know if our crane will reach. We'll see. Oh, it's falling as we drive near. That's going to be where we're stopping. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that from here. It's pretty far down. Even extended, we may not be able to reach that. It says that we can, and we did. So now, can we lift it? And this is not how you're supposed to lift with these. Um, my wife just found more diamonds. Raise, raise, lift. There we go. It's acting really weird. Not sure what that's all about. There we go. It just was overextended. There we go. We got it. I didn't think we'd be able to do it, but we did. I'm sure we're going to go this way with the crane because the, there's a telephone pole back there. Oh, 
will swing this around. Swing, swang, swung. Isn't that a song by the All American Rejects? I don't know if that's what it's. I don't, I don't think that's what it's called, but it was like a, their first big hit. And I actually like that song, but I don't love them as a band. Not my thing. Okay, so we're gonna restore the crane. Nope, the anchors were already unactivated. And we're gonna pack the cargo. Shows you I was super close. Uh, reverse. Oh boy. Now we're gonna back right up there into that driveway. Excuse you. Um. The truck does turn well, I will say that. Even with diff lock on, it's pretty it's a pretty good turner. Except for right there where it's sliding. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the map. We need to go. Let's see, cousin Cleed off Cleed off. Cousin Cletus's drop off is what I'm trying to say. Is back there. We are where? Here. We need to go left. And I'm thinking. Man, really? Left, left. Okay, well, that's it. We may stop for the night because it's starting to get dark. I probably will wait till the sun goes all the way down, but. I'm a little scared of driving on this path over here, but we'll see how we do. So it's fun to put the Fleet Star back in action. Once again, I remember why I don't love the truck. But it is a really strong, it is a strong truck. It's not, it's not bad for the American line. And once again, the Russians, yes, they do They do have better trucks than we do. Um, though we have a couple strong ones. Obviously the Paystar is strong. But we use the Paystar quite a bit. And I want to kind of stick, you know, steer away from that a little bit with what we did on this map. Plus, once again, this truck can take those those um, tipper trailers that we can't do with the Paystar because it gets hung up on the back of the truck. So um, that's one of the reasons why we switched over to this truck. Even over the white Western Star. Behave yourself. My wife is getting angry at Minecraft. Don't be cave spelunking. Just close it off and make your own caves. Best way to do it. A block down. Or don't. Oh. Bashed up the engine. Where's this turn off? Did I miss it? No, it's right up ahead. The legs are getting stuck. We got some tight. We got some tight spaces ahead. Did you die? Put a block down so they can't come. Yeah. You must have found a spawner.
Well, this is going swimmingly, literally. Man. I know. I got stuck in the muck. There we go. Pull, dang you! Are you supposed to get this other... Man, I must be missing another room. Maybe there's another way in or something. I don't... I'm not seeing anything else. <gasps> Wait. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, for crap. Did you freaking do the biggest of the stupid motherfucker that I've ever said about it? I don't know that we're going to be able to get through here. We might have to wait till we fix that bridge. Swear. Come on. I think we can get there. This is really bad. This could go really right or really wrong. If it goes wrong, we're going to end up upside down. We're halfway upside down now. Let's see. Come on. No, I... What, what are you doing? Ugh. Why did it attach that tree? Ugh. I don't know if they changed the winch controls. I feel like it's way worse than it used to be. Okay. Now... Okay, we're through that segment, but unfortunately I lost my load. So we're going to have to... Um, let's see... can't put this up ahead a little bit somewhere. No, that's not going to let me because the crane is off kilter right now. I don't want to tip the truck over, but I also need to get this load where we can... I'm hoping that we can get up that ridge and then load it back over here. There we go. So if I can... No, it's not going to go any closer. Store. I can't believe that we haven't flipped all the way over yet. We are like so on the edge of flipping. Come on. Okay. Come on. Straighten up. So we should have gone the other way, but we couldn't because the bridge was out. Um, so this mission should have been done after we fixed the 10 hut bridge. Um, but now it looks like. You got green friends? Is that like green sleeves? Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, that's not green sleeves. Let's green sleeves go. I, I can't remember how green sleeves goes. No, that's, um, that's a Christmas song. It's not green sleeves. to look it up. Famous tunes from the 1570s. Pack cargo. 
restores the crane. Let us continue. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for green sleeves. For his sleeves are green. Oh! Dig in, truck. Dig in. That was the hardest spot, by the way. That is not going to re rehappen. Uh, that was. We're going to come back and we're going to wait till we finish ten hunt with another truck. Um, oh, come on! Because. But we might not be able to do that. We might have to come back this way because I don't think, like Ten Hut, I don't think we have the parts for the bridge loaded into a cart. Though we could, well, we could have the factory loaded in. <clears throat> I can't really see the road. I'm assuming it's this way. So we definitely came in at the wrong angle. This was not the right way to come into this mission. There's got to be a better... Wow! Oh, boy. They're really trying to stick it to us on this one, man. Look at that boat out there. That's cool. I will say one thing they do have in Michigan is small freighters. you ever seen the Detroit River, there's like a... I guess... I don't know, a drunk captain or something ran a, a freighter. No, that's not going to work. A freighter into the river um, in Detroit, and they never, the company never paid to have it removed. So the freighter is still there in the middle of Detroit. I think it's all pretty much rusted out at this point, but as a kid, I remember seeing that thing and how cool that was. Like, man, it's like this old rusty freighter in the middle of the city. Well, it's not a city, but it's in the is it the St. Lawrence Seaway? What is the river that goes through Michigan? Like they're through uh, Detroit there. It's not St. Lawrence, I don't think. I think St. Lawrence is the one that's north of, like, by Canada. Well, that's by Canada, too. But by, I mean, by, like, Maine. And what is that called? How the frick are you supposed to get this? Man. I'm going to try to get it from here, but we might have to go back by the river there and cut in that way. Um, I just think that's too far down. I don't think we're going to be able to grab it. How are you supposed to be able to get this cargo? Oh, nope, there's the dot. Okay, so if we grab this. Can we attach? Oh, we can. Wow, that is an extension. this way. I can't believe we did it. That was pretty cool. My other fear here is that we're going to run out of fuel. I'm already way past halfway. there and we're going to restore the well we're going to unpack pack and then restore there we go and we're going to go backwards clash of the guinea pigs and hang on a second what we're going to do 
here. We're gonna. Who's fighting now? I backed up wrong. Come on. We just, we don't want to end up down there with Cousin Cletus. I think he went to his watery grave. I think our friend may not be realizing that the cargo washed down the river because Cletus also washed down the river. Turn that diff lock off to get around the corner because it's just pushing us straight up into the trees. Where is this trail? Oh my gosh, I can't even see where I'm going. I don't think we ever have to come back on this road again, but yeah, it's probably a good thing actually. Oh, this is not the best road for this truck, or any truck for that matter. But I would I would label that as a success, would you not? We got the stuff, now we just need to get back home. But it was certainly much more adventurous than the first cargo pickup. That first one was easy. This one was a nightmare. And there is the main road. So we're going to be turning left and getting stuck at the outbridge. So 10 huts the next mission that we're going to have to complete. And uh, we'll get that done here in a sec. Shouldn't be too difficult. And we may want to bring a fueler over here and kind of fix this truck up a little bit. Looks like there might be a way across there if worse comes to worse, but it, once again, it looks like it's for small trucks. Not really designed for this thing. Um, okay, so we're gonna park right here. And we're gonna stop. Shut the engine off. And let's take a look at what 10 Hut requires. Ten Hut. Big reward. Metal beams, oh, concrete blocks. What do we got where? All of our trucks are inaccessible to 10 Hut. That's great. What does this have on it, this trailer? Let's see. Um, oh, we've even got some of that stuff here. That's got nothing. We've got our metal there. We've got our... What is this? This might have both on it. Um, which might be the rides here. Yeah, that's the one that we want, right? Those are... That has... Both concrete slab... And metal beams. It looks like there's two deliveries of those that are needed, though. So, um, what do we have here? This is concrete slab, and this is 
And this is why we owe it concrete slab. This is why we always do these missions first. There's our metal. Okay, so we got everything that we need. Um, but I think we need to finish up Bridges and Bend first to get to those bridges. So this is like a, uh, a puzzle. Wooden planks. Okay, so we have... Do we have wooden planks? No. Uh, but we can pick them up from here. We have an empty trailer. I believe this is empty. Let's take a look. That's got nothing. So what we have then to do is to grab our... Um, Oshkosh. Oshkosh, bagosh. Now we're going to puzzle our way through this. Such a weird looking truck. <laughs> <laughs> the Oshkosh. The Gosh. Do I want to go left? No. the bridge. I don't know if in real life you would charge onto the bridge like that. You probably would go a little slower. Like, mm. Slight caution is required in this bridge entry. Hello, Gypsy. What's up, dog? She's like, I don't know. Uh, I went the wrong way. That's okay. There's many roads, many paths that lead to the lumber mill. It's like a some sort of mystical reading. There are many paths, Padawan. Okay, so we're going to grab this guy right here. And violate principle number one. Oh, magically, they're loaded. I don't know how that happened without a crane truck, but there they are. Okay, so we're going to go, let's see here, to get to the bridge that we need to build. We must go back. From whence we came. So. Oh. A bit of a delay there. Wow, and a belch to go along with the delay. Don't you wish that Minecraft had a copy paste? Go truck.
And once again, the other thing I like about this truck is even though it's a heavy, you know, truck, it actually turns on a dime thanks to that uh, all-wheel steering. What's the matter, babe? I hid your fence palace? That doesn't even make sense. I did? How? Oh. I'm not even playing it. It's all my fault. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so it's looking like we need to go straight now. Okay. Okay. So our truck pounds its way to victory. It's the Panzer. Are you swearing at your game again? She's about to swear. Do we put it here? No. We put it there. Which is fine. Break on through to the other side. So our next goal is to go across the river with this truck, and we're going to go grab that double trailer. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Do, 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 do. Actually, the most not Halo fan. Halo's not bad, but I don't like games that reuse levels over and over again. Except for here, we are playing this one. But you know what I mean. Let's see. We're gonna go. Where are we? We're gonna turn to the right and follow this route. Um. We need to get, where's that? That tipper's over there, so we're going to go there. Okay. I know where I'm going. You may not, but don't worry. Your assigned host knows where he's going. My wife is laughing at me. Should I be concerned? Sorry about the sniffs. Oh, come on, truck. You can do this. Don't push on my chair, please. Oh, I stalled. Matilda. 
All right. We need to keep this an in diff lock. And before we go on the back road to get the trailer, we're going to spend the night at the depot. Because I don't want to... There's the depot. It's actually really not a depot. It's just a house. One can pretend... trailer here. Eventually this trailer is going to go back to get sold. We have all these trailers that need to come back off this map. Maybe. I might even just leave them because to be honest with you, at this point we have so much money that it's not. I, I try to bring, if I'm heading back and I have room to pull it, I will. But I won't go out of my way to come back and get it because it's just not worth it. So we're going to detach that trailer here and we're going to spend the night um, at the truck depot here. And uh, so we'll be back in the morning. I'll see you guys momentarily. All right, folks, it's the morning. We're going to go out and get our trailer with our uh, the goods that are on it. We've left behind the smaller cart. I did have a little accident this morning. It crashed into one of the buildings, which is why we have one point of damage. Not too bad. Sorry, the microphone was a little quiet. Uh, let's see here. So we need to go. Where are we going? We're going to go... Oh, right here. Okay. So, I'm going to swing around this way. And turn down here. I'm not going to cross down there. Looks like there's a path down there, but it doesn't really go anywhere. Ugh. Oh boy. It's funny, you always got to turn these off and then turn them right back on again. this road's fairly accessible. And this is why the Pacific P-16 would not work. Because you could do this, you could use the P-16 to do this, but you'd never make it through these areas. They're just too narrow. But this truck does pretty well because it articulates. go. So there's a full load for the 10 hut bridge. I think we're going to need two more of those though, which is why we have like it shows four, which kind of stinks, but it's not a, I mean, they're all on the map so we're just going to have to go around and pick them up. But the big thing is we need to get turned around right now. Shouldn't be a problem. One second, folks. I'll be right back. There we go. All right. So we're going to work our way out here. It looks like we can go across there. Does that get us anything? No. Let's see. Where's the 10-hut bridge? It is... 
to our right. right. And that's where our truck is stuck, so... That doesn't do us any good. Oh, hold on a second, folks. All right, so... Once again... I know people have complained about this truck. I don't, I don't see what the problem is. Look at what we're dealing with and what we're doing. And it just doesn't seem to have any problems doing it. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong there. I don't know. As long as you go slow with it, it seems like it just does well. So we'll see. The, the trick is going to be getting up that hill. Let's see how this does. Or getting through this muck. This stopped the fleet start, by the way, if you guys remember. Not a problem. The truck doesn't even blink. It just pulls right through. I, so maybe this is something that they fixed. Because I do know an awful lot of people are like, that truck sucks. And I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm not finding it bad at all. It's not fast, but it was never meant to be fast. Here, maybe, we're, we are stalling out a little bit on this hill. But this is a really steep angle. In real life, I don't know that they would put this truck on that kind of an angle, but maybe. But it's fine. It pulled right up. Not a problem. No issue. We still have over half a tank of fuel of gas. We barely used any fuel. So, or diesel, it's not gas. I know. I know. I know. Nope. It needs low gear. I mean, maybe that's what people are just, they're putting it into all-wheel drive or whatever and not putting it into low gear and they're having it stall out because we had to stall out there you see that so maybe that's what the issue is but it's pulling like a champ All right, so the first 10 hunt mission is almost done. I don't know what we're going to do, though. If I have to turn this around on this road, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh, there's a nice big spot to turn around. You see that? Cool. I have a feeling we are going to have to pull more tippers over here because this is not... You can see... <laughs> there's the... Oh, you can't see it now because of the camera. There's the Fleet Star sitting on the other side of the bridge, waiting for us patiently. Weird, why am I not getting the cargo thing? What? Oh, uh... There we go. Boop, boop. Oh, nope, that was it. So we don't have to bring any more over, thank goodness. And so we are done with that mission. I think our stage complete. Nope, the bridge isn't done, so we do. Uh, rats. I don't know if we're going to be able to get turned around with this attached. I might have to detach and winch it around. Let's see what happens here. 
so we're gonna have to detach the trailer. Back this around. And then we're gonna pull this this way. And we're gonna attach this winch to that. Winch that around. Because <laughs> we're gentle and all. Oh. Ta da! And so we got it turned around. And we'll drop this off at the rally point again, because those these are all going to go away. We're going to sell these trailers. So. This truck could use some servicing. Um, so we need one more set of concrete planks and one more set of metal beams. Those are both at the gas station. So that should be pretty easy to fulfill. Um, what's up, Ems? Want some water? Yeah, you get some water. Why don't you fill it up, too? We can have more. What is that? Oh, there's metal beams there, too. We could just use those. Huh. Interesting. Well, those make it really easy. Uh, we'll grab those. And maybe we'll use the P-16 to bring down those other... the other stuff that we need. It'll give us a chance to get some P-16 FaceTime. Yeah, the road got kind of bad right there. My wife just grunted. She said, Ugh. Did you just fart? Oh, you burped. Oh, er, er. It's hard to hear because I got the truck sound. It's a what? Yeah, don't touch it. If you got a sty, you don't want to mess around with it. Just leave it. There's nothing you can really do about it either. You just kind of got to let it. Gosh, I don't remember. I remember getting styes as a kid. Like I don't, I don't know what causes it aside from maybe something getting in your tear duct. What, honey? Oh, that's lovely. It's herpes. So are canker sores, actually. Believe it or not. They're all part of that Simplex B, I think. Simplex A is the one that get, that's like an actual STD. Huh? Hang on, I'm recording right now, hon. Sorry. What? Yeah, no, it's okay. She didn't know. All right, so we're going to pop this down here, and then I think we'll bring the P-12 down to finish it, just for fun. Or not the P-12, the P-16. It may be the only time that we get to really use that truck, because <laughs> there's really no other function for it. I'm going to get a rock in there. Oh. All right. So we'll pull this over. we are the same issue. I'm too impatient to do it the realistic way. Let's just have it over with. <laughs> In real life, you would totally jack that trailer. Be done with. Here. 
And let's go ahead and grab the P16. Nope, stop this. There we go. And where's our P16? There it is. Such an ugly truck. It needs to be painted into our company colors. Oh, good. It's completely stuck. What are we stuck on? I must have pulled over a uh, stump. So we'll attach our winch ahead. Yep, that's what it was. This truck is ridiculous. And I think we need to go... Where are we going with this? That way. To the right, correct? Yeah, so we're going to need to back all the way through, grab that trailer, and then head that way. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. Yeah, it has pretty much the same cab as the P12, but it's offset. Uh, I don't want to damage this, but we're going to have to get a bit of a run to make that corner. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, Ooh, that was close. Almost lost that cargo. <laughs> and once again, we can't even get this thing turned around. That's the problem with this truck. It's just... It's very unruly. Good for big cargoes on big open roads, but not much else. Doesn't really have any attachments to speak of. Um... No fuel, no nothing. We've got a new Caterpillar truck coming in the new ver in the next version of the game. Uh, but it's a it's big like this, but it's a fuel tanker, so it actually has a purpose. You can run it around and use as a giant portable gas station, which is we're going to use it for sure. But this truck just I, there's like one big mission in Alaska that I've seen so far that'd be like yeah, that'd be a perfect truck for that. Uh, other than that, I don't see much use for this truck. Did I go the right way? Mm. Yes. If any truck's like a big dump, Tonka dump truck, though, that's this truck for sure. So once again, I find the P12 a better truck and more useful. It has more attachments available. It fits through narrower roads um, and has better off-road capabilities. Honestly, look at this. We're getting bogged down in pretty much nothing. Just a little bit of mud. This truck will always get through it, but it just, it's, I don't know. Once again, there's other trucks that just do better. Besides, this thing is such a fuel hog. Still, it's fun to do this, you know, <laughs> take a 
for a spin. I think I tried to do the main mission on this map with this truck uh, my first time through and ended up getting stuck at some narrow spots and I was like, forget it. I'm just not going to use it. But we'll make some money selling this truck, so that's you know a good thing. We can use it to pull some of the trailers back to Smithville, um, to the trailer store. Oh lordy, we're stuck. Come on. My hands hurting from squeezing the trigger all the way to the floor. Go, truck. Ten. Huh. So what I think to do, to what I'm going to do to bring this back, we're going to, probably in another episode, we're going to take this truck back and just return it to Smithville. But we'll yank two trailers back. I'll, I'll connect up that long flatbed trailer to it, and then I'll winch to this trailer, and we'll pull all these empties back like a train of sorrow or of uselessness. Then I'll return these trailers to Smithville, and then to sell this truck. Because once again, this is it's pretty pointless. Um, we've got the P-16 over here. We've got the Panther, the uh, I'm sorry, the Oshkosh, and those trucks are just as capable. Plus, they fit on these narrow roads. But you can see here, this one's not too bad. As long as you have a nice wide road to work with, it's a good truck. It's just not so good on the narrow roads. Unfortunately, this map has a lot of those. This whole Michigan area has models. I think this truck probably will do better in Alaska, which is probably why they give it to you at the end of Michigan, because you'll be heading to Alaska shortly, and this truck will probably come in useful there, hopefully. Right. We're going to dump. Can I unload this? What? Wait, is this the wrong kind of... No, it wants concrete. Maybe I need to pull it through here. Let's see. Try that. I'm missing something. What does this need? Oh! Now, wait, what? What do I have on board? I thought these were concrete blocks, aren't they? Oh, these are concrete slab. Uh, 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 the exasperated, I'm going to have to, where am I going to get? Concrete slab. Well, I screwed this up. Well, that will take us to a second episode, folks, because I'm going to have to... Unfortunately, this is not going to work. Um, I thought this is what I needed, and it's not. I actually need concrete slab, or uh, bricks, the blocks. So we're going to have to pull this over. We're going to leave this here, because I don't know if there's another mission that will require these. But we'll take that empty back, and we're going to take the empties over to Smithville. We'll grab what we need and bring it back. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Nope, that's not where I want to put these. just to drag it over. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Not a lot of room to maneuver. <coughs> Let's 
So we'll call this the Lake Erie Monster. Actually, it can't be because Michigan Michigan doesn't really touch Lake Erie except for. Actually, I don't. I don't think it does at all. Mm, let me think about this. Maybe by Ypsilanti. And uh, was it? Uh, there's that power plant. I think those are on the shores of Lake Erie, and then it turns into whatever that seaway is um, that goes through Detroit. So, that was a dud, but that does it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed a little more SnowRunner as we work our way through all of these uh, series of missions. Uh, I'm going to take this truck over to, like I said, over back over to Smithville. Uh, I'm going to pull back that empty there. Um, we're going to switch over here. And uh, pull also back the flatbed empty, but I'm going to have to bring this back with some concrete slab on it. So... One of these tippers, actually both of these smaller tippers are going to end up staying on this map for now. Um, but then eventually we'll drag them both out using the P-16 or whatever. But the sooner I sell that thing, the better. Just, uh, it's not what I was hoping for, but... We'll back this guy up and park it here. That will be that. Have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we'll see you next time on whatever the name of this is, Drummond Island in Michigan. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.